What up, people? It's your boy Woody Triple Two coming at you with another video, real quick. It's been a couple days since my last entry. I'm gonna say it like that because this is kind of like a journal entry of my spirit ride or whatever I want to call it. I just lost my train of thought there. I'm just finished taking my medicine, so my bad. But anyway, I got a haul. I know I've been not having a lot in my last video, so your boy went crazy on Amazon. I had, you know, lists made of every toy line and I just, they do a nice feature where it says price dropped. So I just hit that and bought everything on my price drop list. It was dropped enough where I felt comfortable buying all this stuff. So let's get into it real quick. I'm Punk got a stream tonight on Thursday, so I'm gonna hit that up if I don't fall asleep. I've been mad tired lately. I was at the car dealership all day after work. That's why it's nighttime now. Why is it buying a new car is like going to the ER for a emergency. It's like three and a half hours, boom. I'm just leasing a car. Let me, here's this car. Let me get another car, I'm out. So your boy did get a new vehicle. It's not a classified vehicle. It's just a Chevy truck, so. If you see me out in Rhode Island, peep the, the new truck. That's all I gotta say. All right, so, oh, actually I did go to Ollie's too after, and I already opened these things up. I was just needed to open something. It's been a minute, so we'll go over the stuff I opened first, and then we'll go over the haul shit that I got. So I needed this guy for my Marvel uh, MCU shelf. I didn't really care for the character, but Oh, let me turn on my machine real quick. Ready? It's a quick one, a little one. But this Loki character from the uh, Loki TV show, which is actually thought was pretty good. You know, a lot of people, I'm not going to get into how they feel about Disney, but I'm not going to say I don't feel that way about Disney, but I don't judge shit that much. I mean... Just if it's entertainment, just watch it. If you're entertained, you're not. If not, don't watch it. There's no reason to like go on a two hour bitch fest about how Disney is and Disney does that and Disney does this to me. I mean, to each their own, if you wanna do that and waste energy on that, that's what I would call it. More power to you. Everybody do you. That's just how this world was meant to be. Everybody's gonna do them. I'm gonna do me. So I got this guy. I like the hand effects, actually. I got one of each hand in there. So he looks like he's getting ready to shoot up power in this one. He's um, building up his power in his hand to let loose. So I thought the figure was pretty cool. I mean, the Ollie's actually had them for $9.99. My Ollie's dropped a lot of them Marvel Legends and Eternals and that wave there with the Kanchu build a figure down to like five ninety nine, so I grabbed him. I'm, I was trying to build the Kanchu anyway, so that's cool. I got some more pots for him. I think I need like three more pots for Kanchu. So I got this guy, Agent Jimmy Wu. I mean, he was just in the movie. That's just how bad it is for me. He's gonna go on my shelf. I would never in a million years if I wasn't trying to put a Marvel MCU collection bookcase uh, I mean I say shelf all the time it's more like a friggin bookcase there's so many characters but you'll see that shout out to um this upstairs toy room collection too I'm working on that hopefully within like 10 days I'll have that up this room's kind of coming along the way I want it so I'm ready to um get that down on film and make that part of my journey but anyway and in these, man, I, there's no other word for these. I just it reminded me of my childhood. It's new, but your boy was never into video games. I mean, I was when they were two button and three button uh, Genesis games, and I just gave up. Once I realized you had to hit 16 buttons to play games, man, I'm I'm not into that. That's just not my thing. I like. Actually, it's crazy. I like watching people play video games, not on YouTube or anything, but if I'm chilling at my boy's house, because all, we all know everybody played games, so I don't mind watching somebody play Madden or FIFA or whatever. My boys play all the sports games, so I don't mind that. You know, I'm chilling and just watching somebody 
get excited about what they're doing on a video game screen is pretty cool to me. I'm just not the guy who wants to play it myself. So I got this Mario figure. This reminded me of this. I had a t-shirt when I was a kid and Mario was on it like this. And, you know, I was not well off. So that I wore that t-shirt a lot and people used to make fun of me and stuff like that because I wore it like two, three times a week. It was red t-shirt with like a white circle with Mario on on uh, the front. And, uh, you know, my mom was out doing her thing and not worrying about us, but she had other things on her mind. So, I mean, I don't know what I would do if I was a single mom. Thank God I'm, I've never been in that situation, but she let things get to her and she had to expunge her energy different ways. So, you know, I love my mom and I'm, I wouldn't be who I am without my mom doing the things she did. So now that I'm an adult, I can look back in retrospective and just say, thank you, Ma, much appreciated. She'll never watch this video. She's 70 years old, I think at this point, I don't know, 69 maybe. Weird, don't think that about my Ma. But I got him and I got this one because this was like literally one of the, I think Bond, 007 GoldenEye was the last game I actually played with um, like that I liked and that was pushing it for me. The Nintendo 64 with that weird controller and I think that was up to four buttons and like two triggers and but Bond was the only game I ever played so and then after that it just got too much for me. I didn't play a game since. But this Super Mario Brothers, I wanted the friggin' brown suit one but I, I don't think they have it. So these was at Ollie's. Go check out Ollie's if you're into like the Nintendo characters. They got a bunch of the Koopa Troopers and all that kind of stuff for uh, $5.99. So this was pretty cool. It was just sit on a random, right on my, my desk somewhere. I got two desks in here, one here and one right there. So I'll find a place for it. I just thought it was cool for $5.99. It comes with a little thing you can jump on. They got good articulation. These are Jack specific figures. So. They're pretty cool, actually. I mean, that's why I bought it. Like I said, I'm not into it, but that that Mario reminded me of that T-shirt and brought back some some memories and opened the floodgates. So I grabbed that, and then this was the other Mario. I was looking for Luigi, but they didn't have no Luigi, but they had Mad of the different Koopa Troopers and all that kind of stuff. So that's what I opened. I, I opened those like an hour ago. Like, <laughs> Jesus. I got to... I'm trying to fart on these figures, but I keep forgetting. That was like, I'm eight minutes in. So every eight minutes, this thing makes a random fart noise. It's crazy to me. Whoever made this this company, 20 minutes, 10 minutes, come on, why eight minutes? Ollie's again for the win. And I'm going all in on this and I can say that. I mean, my man down south, I can't find them hoops for shit up here, but he ended up, his Ollie's had I guess pallets of hoops. So I got four more hoops on the way. So every guy is gonna get a hoop. That's just what I wanna do and pose them up and do. I got the guys in some pretty sick poses. These actually pose well. So I got Giannis. I'm not gonna attempt to even say that name. So many people say it so many different ways. So I definitely, I, I'm not even gonna try it. I'm gonna cover it up actually cause I don't even want you to try it. <laughs> but I got him. Like I said, I got hoops on the way from down south. So much appreciated, buddy. Thank you for that. Um, oh, this is what I'm most excited about. These came in yesterday. Let me fix this right here so I can show them both at the same time because they sold separately, but they go together as a set. So these four horsemen figure, figure obscures. I mean, um, I love this line. So I haven't popped these yet, Anubis and Bassett. So I'm definitely souped for these. This is my favorite thing of the week so far. Um, the only figure I don't have for Figura Obscura is, um, I didn't get the Christmas, the Santa or whatever, man. I got everybody else either in hand or on pre-order in that line. I'm not into Cosmic Legion, Mythic Legions. It's just, sometimes I feel too much is too much, so that's why I never got into wrestling. I mean, shout out to the wrestling collectors out there, man. There's so many figures and variants and 
kudos to you for staying on top of that because I could I could do it. I just that's a lot of energy, man. There's so many different brands, so many different lines, and then this guy has a red shirt and a yellow shirt and a blue shirt variant. Like it's crazy. So shout out to the rec, uh, rec as uh, my man Savage would say, wrestling. How they say it down south, wrestling figures. Um, couple Marvel Legends. I don't. I need these to build the conchu. Like I said, this was my Amazon price drop list. So I was just saving them, waiting for them to drop to a certain price. So Scarlet Witch, Zombie, and What If. Shout out to Same Time Toys got me into this because he put that comment in my head and it ain't left since. What if's part of the Marvel Universe too, you know? So, because I wasn't going to get these, but then I got one piece of the conchu. Cause I I bought the um he who remains because man I think that dude got a raw deal man that's and that's the state of America this day it shows a when you ever see a black man running away from a white woman and he still gets in trouble man it's it's crazy to me I'm not gonna get into politics or nothing like that it's just my opinion and shout out to people doing the right thing man that's all I gotta say and just still getting. I'm just gonna end it right there. I don't even wanna say my opinion like that. But anyway, this was six bucks on Amazon or something, six ninety two or something. The AIM Scientist Supreme. I thought this was a pretty cool figure. I like the helmet. And I don't know what build a figure this is. Let me see. Zemu, Zemnu. I've never even heard of this. Like you guys know I'm not a comic head, but I'm I am a turtle head. <laughs> <laughs> And this line, I got that Hercules figure, a couple. <laughs> Sorry. Hercules does not get a flop because that was a dope figure and I'm very happy with that figure. So I just, I saw the packaging and I'm like, oh, let me get it. Cause it, if this has any half the articulation like that Hercules figure, it's gonna be dope. So I got this, this female Loki, woman, Loki is a woman. It's not, I think this is comic, Agent of Asgard. Um, so I'm really excited. I think they made like this uh, Falcon figure with this package and I'm gonna try to get all the figures with this package and I, I think there's like five or six of them. And shout out to toy companies, man, especially Hasbro. Remember back in the day they had, you bought the figure and then it showed every figure in the line on the back of the package and why don't we do that anymore, man? Is it too much work? Is it, what is it? Because they need to start doing that again. And then also I'm just thinking about, you know, how I'm getting all these figures. And a year and a half ago, I was just strictly ARAH Joe collector. So it kind of feels like I'm starting over again. So shout out to, to that, man. I'm just, it's reinvigorated me in this hobby that I've had for 20 plus years. Like I said, I'm, it looks like I'm getting all this shit and I'm building up a lot, but for 20 something years, I was strictly three and three quarter Joes and I just cleaned out that collection and wanted to start something new. It was that time in my life. So, you know, I've, I've been collecting for a long time, but I feel like a brand new collector because I'm going back and getting all these different lines. I mean, I never did anything like that before it was strictly one line like I said and anything related to G.I. Joe so happy for myself to branch out to the Marvel Legends and you know I wouldn't have bought a Super Mario figure two two years ago or a Bassett and Anubis figure I mean I never would have Headless Horseman I never would have bought that Star Wars Black Series so now I'm just you know buying what I like I'm gonna try to speed this up because I don't want to do hit use like the last video was like 28 minutes because I'm gonna have another one of those coming probably Sunday or Monday because I got mad figures on the way. <laughs> I got mad figures. I think my most was 44 figure haul. This one's gonna top that. And this ain't from BBTS, that's what's crazy. Some of it is, but it's from uh, Hasbro Pulse, the outlet. I went a little nuts on that shit. But you'll see what I get when that come. And I got something on the way from Savage Land. I bought some shit off him. I bought some shit off Down South, 77. Um, so I got mad shit on the way. That little grift in my 
not getting a figure, I've just created a tidal wave and <laughs> I need to uh, work on that. But I really don't because it's what I want to do. So I needed this, Winston. So now all I need is Egon, which is of course the most expensive one. I need to finish that Terra Dog line. I already got two Plasma Series Winston's over there, but you have to buy this to come with the, to build that Terra Dog Vince Clortho figure. So one more baby. And I got a, um, I ended up picking up one of them Batmobiles off uh, Amazon. It was like on sale for $55. Again, it was on my price drop list. So I, I definitely want to start a Batmobile collection. I'm not the big Batman fan like that, but I love the vehicles. And they just announced, I'm watching um, KJ over here from Toy Kind of Mood, and they just announced the McFarlane uh, Tumblr. That's my favorite Batmobile, man. I love that Batmobile. So I'm souped for that. Hopefully I can get it because I know it's one of them. I'm going to get both the camo one and the, the black one, but the black one I think is going to be hard because it's only on his website. The camo one's on Amazon, so and that should be no problem, but definitely want to get that, man. I'm definitely, that's a collection I'm looking forward to starting very much because I love the Joker from Batman. I like all the bad guys. You, you guys, you people know this, so. But I love the Batmobiles. I'm going to get every one, even the 66 one. I just got to find one that I like. But a uh, little Mo 2 pickup. So, Tony, if you're watching, you know, me and you on that page with that Mo 2. We love that Mo 2 Masterverse. This ain't Masterverse. This is Origins, but I needed it. And it was dirt cheap. So it's Snake Man Infiltrator. Dressed up as Man at Arms, but it's really a Snake Man under there. So, I needed this for the collection. Just got one. That's good. I don't need to army build Moto. It's just one of each. Army buildings for, for Joe's. And then I needed this. This was dropped down to like 21 bucks. It was up at like 35 for the longest. So I, one Masterverse figure, too bad. And I can't wait for the uh, Turtles of Grayskull, too bad with uh, Rocksteady and Bebop together. That's, that's actually a dope idea to me. So shout out to that. And I got, um, all my, the newest wave of the Turtles of Grayskull was on its way from BBTS. They're shipping everything. So all the stuff from my, uh, the new stuff that I ordered, not from the pile of loot. I just got it shipped now because I just needed stuff. And I was like, yes, yes, ship, ship. No, 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 no. 70 more days left on that. That could, all that shit went to the side, but now it's time to my new favorite line. Damn, my hands sounded like punk right there. I, I did lotion up too, but working with your hands all day, them shits get dry, I guess. But even with um, Johnson & Johnson baby powder lotion on, that's my shit. Keeps my skin, my skin silky smooth. That's how your boy's 45, but he looks mad young. Johnson & Johnson's pink lotion, baby. So this line, loyal subjects, I. I'm hoping I do this right. I just call it best action, man. That's what that means to me. So I got this midnight edition foot soldier. It's all blacked out. This was on Amazon. So I literally bought the rest of the Amazon, whatever they had on Amazon for best action. I just bought the rest of them. They're cheap enough, man. These figures are like 18 bucks. So that's pretty cool to me. So I got him, he's all blacked out. It says Games Clock Stop exclusive, but it was on Amazon, so. I don't know what's up with that. Maybe at, at one point in 2022, it was an exclusive, but now it's on Amazon. They must have bought up the stock or whatever. Him, this is shout out to Aaron. I found him on Amazon, 21 bucks, I think, for Slash. So he'll be going on the shelf downstairs. Slash, does he glow in the dark? Is that what he said? Is there a glow in the dark part on him? The eyeball maybe or something? It doesn't say glow in the dark on, on this thing. And it does say incredible sculpt details. And yeah, these things are pretty sculpted, pretty dope. Except for the some reason, the turtles and April O'Neil got some skinny ass legs, man. And so does Shredder, but I don't mind it. I got this cartoon version of Shredder. I got the one with the um Hard ass weapons. This one, this line I noticed the Nickelodeon line 
as the the gummy weapons and you can get them in some ill poses with the weapons because the other comic edition they have them hard weapons and feel like you're gonna break them if you try to do some dynamic poses and i am gonna do um a couple episodes of posing figures this weekend i'm gonna do the bat definitely that's one of my favorite from gi joe and maybe the alley viper i haven't decided but definitely the bat and i'm gonna try to put some music in it because my first idea was to go just silent because to me that was just like silence focus on the posing but that damn lazy susan man just be making mad noise and I went back and watched the video. I'm like, this is aggravating, and nobody wants to sit there for a minute and a half and just hear. So, unless you do, man, AMSR, is that what they call that or whatever? But I was in Walmart real quick, picked this up, $25 on clearance, man. So, it's just loyal subjects, pet fashion. I never would have bought this, but for $25 for four turtles, yeah, they're gray, but they got their colors on on them and stuff. So this was a hell of a pickup for me. And I'm, I'm happy with that. Four figures for $25 is seven bucks a, a figure. Less than that, six six and change. Six twenty five to be exactly, if you're going to math me, because I'm good at math. And then two more, last two pickups, best action. We got this. You go on Amazon, 28 bucks for four figures. It's not really um, my style of turtles. I don't, I like them with, when they have the colors and and everything. I know I'm not. I never was into the comics, like I said. So, but they do have the letters on the belt to distinguish who's who, and obviously the weapons do that too. But I like that shredder. It's pretty dope. Are there two shredders in here, or is that a foot soldier? With the that hat on. I forgot what them hats are called, but those hats are dope. Shout out to those hats because I'd be wearing them when I uh, cut my grass and shit. And then I got this one. Another four pack. Oh, this is the foot with uh, Mikey and Leo. Um, and there's four figures in here. Let me open it up for you real quick. But 22 minutes. Let me get the hell out of here. I don't taking up enough of your guys' time. So thanks for watching. Please like, comment, share, subscribe. Definitely share. I noticed I'm almost at. This would be dope. I I don't want it to happen, but it would be dope if it did happen. Like if I, you know, I know one day I'm gonna reach my max, and I'm not trying to be a big channel like Ninja and Punk and them guys. But it'd be dope if I just stopped on 222 for subs that would be dope to me that namaste moment right there but i i i want more than that but that i'm just saying if something happened tomorrow and all i would ever get was 222 subs i'd be very happy and i think it was karma showing me something in the right direction so shout out to people that subbed since the last time my last video much appreciate it Thank you. Everybody stay on that grind. Keep doing what you do. And I will see you next time. Peace.